Hello everybody, this is Gamergar and welcome back to the finale of our 5 million challenge run, Stardew Valley. So we're halfway to winter now at the moment, we're almost finished our challenge run. Can we make 5 million gold by the end of this year? So we're back to Skull Cavern to farm as much resources as possible. Because when we get to the end of winter we're going to sell absolutely everything we have on the farm to get the most money possible. Skull Cavern has been great fun, we have gotten a few lucky days indeed. If you enjoy Sergio content, make sure to subscribe, it helps me out a ton. So the kegs are up and going at the moment now, as per usual. We're getting through the last of the pumpkins now, so the race is on. We will make more kegs when we get more materials. So the keg race never ends for us. Once we finish processing all the pumpkins, we'll then have a pretty good indication as to how much money we've made this year. If we need more to complete the 5 million challenge, we have a couple of tricks up our sleeve to make that happen, so don't you worry. We're well on the way to make 5 million. These slime eggs are pretty nice. You, you know, like we'll take anything now that sells for any sort of money. So we're in day number 16 here now, and it's back to the Skull Cavern again. And this is a trend now for most of the rest of the video. It's just farmers Skull Cavern. Blowing up zombies, mining ores, and getting nice treasures. So the great thing about the Skull Cavern here is we actually get some very nice things in the treasure chests that actually sell for quite a lot of money. You can even get a really virus for some quite a lot of money as well. Thank God for Gus's salads. So before we go to the Skull Cavern, we, we create what's called a preparation chest. The preparation chest has things like salads, bombs. You know, if we have purple mushrooms, for example, we have those in the chest. Spicy eels, staircases, triple shot expresses. So we keep everything in the one chest, because it makes it very easy for us to mobilize and get ready for the cave the next day, especially if we get a super lucky day. So we're spamming bombs here now at the moment because we've got nothing to get over. <laughs> we've lots of money to spend. We've 90,000 gold there at the moment, so that's more that's going to go on cave equipment. It's still nice when you get to make noise like that. Gold lore is always welcome. So once we have all the iridium ore smelted into iridium bars, we'll actually go ahead and smelt all the gold ore as well and the iron ore and we'll sell all the bars. Just to get the most out of all the loot that we have. So we're on day number 17 here now, and a batch of our kegs uh, have completed. So we're going to get all that lovely pumpkin juice, we're going to put more pumpkins in. So we still have a ways to go with the pumpkins, but I think we're in a good spot, because we, we still have a good few days left in the month. So we're going to put down more smelters here, so we can smelt more ores, because we have hundreds of ores at the moment that we can actually smelt, so we want to turn a big profit there with the bars. The gold bars obviously don't sell as half as much as iridium bars, but they still sell for quite a bit. So, you know, we've got 600 plus gold ores here now, so we're going to spend all this. So all those iridium bars are going to go into that chest there now, we're going to stock up on iridium bars. And when we get to the end of the month, then we're going to sell all that to make huge profits. So we've got 123 iridium bars, that's 137 iridium bars we have right now. And we're going to have a lot of gold bars to boot as well. So each iridium bar with the blacksmith profession goes for 1500 gold, so yeah, we'll, we'll get a nice chunk of money from those. So we're back in the regular mines now today because we didn't get a lucky day, because we don't really go to the skull cavern if we don't get lucky days. We just go to the regular mines instead, and we'll just farm the ores here. So because it's winter, obviously we're not going to grow any more crops. Um, you know, we still have hundreds of pumpkins we have to process. And that was more or less the essence of this challenge, you know, it was get strawberries, get the star fruit, get the pumpkins, and, you know, sell everything else in between to maximize the profits. So it's another stuck camera to run here now today. And if we see big clusters like that, we will get them, we won't get almost there straight away because that's... That's a lot of gold ore right there, which means a lot of money for us. 16 gold ore right there. That's 3 gold bars. So the spirits are in good humor today, you know what that means? Yes, it's back to the skull cavern. <laughs> 
So as you can see here, we've got a big mad forest set up in the desert with the tappers, so they're fully set up. We don't set our diamonds or rubies, instead we just get Chuckish that express us the spicy needles, get a couple of warp totems as well, just so we can come here early and not get the bus. So I also got a magic rock candy today because we have been accumulating prismatic shards. So we're going to take the magic rock candy today. Let's see what kind of treasures we can get today with the maximum luck. So I'm just going to do my own today with the magic rock candy. Just to see how well we can do. So the thing about solo play is time is a bit slower when you have skull cavern. But when you solo play, Time also freezes when you eat and soon when you go down the stairs. But because you're playing cooperative mode, we don't get those luxuries. Now we will get the luxury of the time going a bit slower because both of us are in the Skull Cavern. So another prismatic shard out of the treasure chest there, which is very nice. I'll take all the prismatic shards that the game gives me. When we get to the end of the game, we will be selling all the leftover prismatic shards, but for now, if we get them, we keep them and convert them into magic rock candies. Energy tonics are also very nice. You can actually buy energy, energy tonics from Harvey at the clinic. And I only actually found that out a week ago. <laughs> I did not know you could buy energy tonics from Harvey. Energy tonics are they're probably one of the best consumables in the game for energy replenishment and health replenishment. You can also get energy tonics from the Iridium bats as well inside this cave. So we're down to floor 62 here now, and the Iridium Ores are starting to show up. Another prismatic shards, it's really nice. So as you can see, the magic rock candy makes a really big difference when you went to the Skull Cavern, because the more luck you have, the better odds you're going to get the good stuff. Rain totems. <laughs> I mean, God, we do not want rain totems. Day number 19 here now, and it's back into the Skull Cavern. So we're not in any huge rush to get down low. You know, we're just kind of taking it easy now. We're enjoying the rest of the year. If we get something good, it's nice. There's actually a very, very small chance you can get auto petters in those crates if you bust them open. Now we don't bust up too many crates and the rates are really low, but it is possible you can get auto petters in those crates. More treasure rooms here now and it is another cowboy hat. That goes straight to the bin because we can't sell that, we can't make a profit from it. <laughs> cowboy hats are cool, but when you get a red cowboy hat 10 times in a row, trust me, you're not going to keep it. <laughs> you're going to throw it away. So, it's, so as you can see here, I'm getting more and more prismatic shards. And I wonder is there something built into the game's code where if you get your first pr prismatic shard, the rest of the prismatic shards just just more common, you know. So we're on day 20 here now, and more cakes have finished, so we're going to harvest all of these. More pumpkin juice, so we're going to store that away. We have got an absolute mountain of pumpkin juice at the moment, ready to go. And we will be selling it soon as we get closer to the month. So we are holding on our deadline, so it's a very exciting time at the moment. When I first started this challenge, I, I never thought in a million years that we would have the potential to make a few million in one year. It was very difficult, very time consuming actually. And it was also very stressful, and Stardew Valley isn't meant to be a stressful game, but let me tell you, it was probably one of the most stressful <laughs> challenge runs I've, I've ever done. Because every day, you yeah, had to do 101 things. Would I do the challenge run again? I would, not anytime soon though. And if I was to redo it, I would certainly change out a few things and I would up the challenge and say something like, can we get 10 million in year one? Cooperative mode. I don't know how possible that is. I think you need a lot of luck, especially in spring, you need a lot of luck to achieve something like that. So those are really bats are lethal. They hit you for quite a lot. You really got to be careful. They also have a lot of HP as well. They're actually one of the toughest mobs in the game to fight. Sometimes you can get swarmed by Iridium bats, and sometimes you can get ambushed by Iridium bats. You got to be careful. So we're on day 21 over here at the moment. We're back in the regular mines. We're just going to smelt all of the Iridium ores that we got. So as you can see here, we have loads of 
be enormous, I'm going to turn into bars. That's going to be another huge profit right there. So we're going to go to Pierre's here now, let's see what he has for us. We're going to sell the pumpkin juice. Now we're only selling a small bit of pumpkin juice, and the reason why we sold that small amount was to just keep our funds up for the cave. Because we want to buy more salads off Gus, we want to buy more bombs off the dwarf. So we can keep the fun going. Yup, that is a lot of salads that I just purchased there. <laughs> Gus is a very happy man at the moment. So we put down even more smelters here so we can smell even more bars because we're just doing the caves all the time with an extraordinary amount of ores. So the more smelters we have, the more we can process. And I gifted the dwarf a uh, gold ore by accident, so my bad. I'm just gonna buy an absolute crap ton of bombs off the dwarf now. The money here to the head. So we're on day 22 now, we're closing in on the finale day. Back to the skull cavern because we've got a look at the hours blown up more stuff as we go. The great thing about zombies is that they drop cloth. And cloth with the artisan profession that sells for a good few hundred pounds, so it's another extraordinary way you can make money. The solar essences are handy too with the void essences, we sell those also. So so far so good. So as you can see there, after selling some mining materials, we sold our iridium bars, we got 282,000 for those, which isn't bad, it's 330,000 right there. Now I know in the large scheme of things it's not a whole lot, but it is a nice chunk of money to have, especially when you're going for, you know, a, a 1 or a 2 or a 5 million run challenge. So we just, we're just going to sell our, gin, our pumpkin juice there now, 999 pumpkin juice. We're going to see how much we're going to get for that. So because it's the 23rd now and we're getting to the end, we're going to start selling stuff. So we're going to sell resins, energy tonics, we're basically going to sell everything that we have. So I start going through the chests. So I completed some monster stair goals and I went into the adventures guild to see what kind of rings I can get and I got the napalm ring and the crab shell ring which are very nice rings indeed, especially the napalm ring because the great thing about the napalm ring is when you kill uh, zombies with the napalm ring they will, uh, you don't have to blow them up most of the time, they'll just blow themselves up. <laughs> so it's a real nice ring especially to bring into the skull cavern. So we just sold all of our farming gear, we got two point Basically 2.5 million. So the starfruit wine, the pumpkin juice, and we just saw some regular pumpkins there as well. We saw some cloth. Um, so that is an absolutely massive profit. 2.5 million right there. We also made uh, almost 400,000 from selling the, the bars. So can we get the 5 million? That's the big question. Do we have enough resources on the farm to make 5 million? So as you can see here, we're selling wood, stone, we're selling absolutely everything we have. Because once this year is over, we're not really going to play on this file anymore, and we want to make as much money as possible. So there's a lot of stuff there that we sold. Ancient drums, ancient dolls, so, so they're from opening up treasure troves, just so you know. We traded in the Omni Geos for treasure troves. So we're at day number 24 now. We're back to the Skull Cavern because we need to get more money to see if we can make it to this 5 million. It's going to be tough. Really bad, you know what? I'll take it. It's 1500 gold. It might not be a lot, but it's better than nothing. Another treasure room here now. What have we got? We got bombs. But you know what? It's, <laughs> it's better than nothing. <laughs> as long as it's not a cowboy hat. So I see lots of iridium bombs to go at the moment. I'm gonna grab all these nodes. These nodes mean money. These are really bad to try to do my day, but they're not gonna get in the way. And the net memory, as you can see, is really handy because we're in a strategy, really bad to explode and then disintegrate the nodes around them. 
So the Napalm Ring is, in my opinion, one of the best rings in the game, especially for adventuring. So round down number 25 here now, the spirits again are in good humour, back to Skull Cavern again. I mean, there isn't really anything else we can do, I mean, you know, it's winter, you can't grow crops. So it's Babbitt's staircases today. What are we going to get in each treasure? Cherry bombs. But, I mean, a seed maker of cherry bombs, can't do much with those. Warp totems, again it's very disappointing, you know. I'd love to get something amazing. Slime eggs would be nice actually, because slime eggs have nice money. Five cranberry sauce. You know what? That isn't bad. We'll actually sell that. That's not bad actually. Another fecking cowboy hat. Holy mother of god. Enough of the cowboy hats, please. Day number 26 and we are smelting bars like there is no tomorrow, because soon enough there won't be a tomorrow. <laughs> Did you get that joke? <laughs> so smelting bars, all the smelters are on overload. Dwarf has no clue what's going on. <laughs> 4 2, for almost 4.3 million. We are so close to the 5 million challenge. What we're going to do is we're going to spend our money and we're going to buy oil and garlic to 3,000 gold a pop. And this, this will get us over the 5,000 mark. So we're going to sell those. <laughs> hey, there we go. That. The things we do to complete, to complete these challenges. 974,000 from selling oil of garlic, which we bought. But we wanted to, we had to do it because we wanted to get the challenge done. Day number 27, the second last day of the challenge run. Guess where we're going? You guessed it, back into the skull cavern. Farmer the crap out of this place. We got a hole. Sometimes what happens is um, that a hole appears, but by accident take a ladder, and I forget to take the hole, and it's just so irritating. Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever taken a ladder instead of taking a hole by accident? It's so, so, so destroying. <laughs> it's actually so destroying. So we got more minerals here than we want, and uh, I tried to trade there with the wife by accident. Sorry about that, wife. I actually tried to train an item to the wife once and we ended up getting um, killed in the cave because of it. <laughs> because we're playing cooperative mode, time doesn't stop when we initiate trades so the enemies will some poke away at our health. So it is the last day. Our playthrough is finished. We're going to sell absolutely everything we have. Everything. Let's see how much money we make at the end. Yes, the shift click. I'm actually figuring out a shift click so I can purchase more a lot faster. And we're gonna sell those. I'm gonna get all these resins, I'm gonna sell them. So if you like Sarge of any content and if you like this challenge run, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe. It would really help me out. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers so I can monetize the channel and make some money. Stardew Valley content is something that we love, so we will bring out Stardew Valley content forever. Just so you know. <laughs> Every few days you will have a good Stardew Valley video. So we've actually run out of coal. We are now going to go to sleep. Let's see how much money we got from selling all that gear today. Ooh, how much money did we make? So the other is from the oil of garlics, the mine is from the uh, gold bars and the iridium bars, so 528,000, that's nice. Did we do it? Did we make 5 million or over 5 million? Let's find out. Oh, go away Kent. We're in the middle of a challenge right now, Kent. Go away. Yeah, thanks very much. Now, look, get off my farm. 
Okay, let's bring up the menu and see how much money we made. 5.8 million! Yay! Yay! We almost spent 6 million gold! Amazing! Absolutely amazing. It was an absolutely magnificent challenge. So I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the challenge one. We certainly did. We will bring out more Star Giovanni content in the next day or two, so stay tuned for that. And as always, I hope you have a great day. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified for my future videos. And as always, have a great day.